Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, we'll talk about some really cool camera animations inside of Unreal Engine with the help of Adobe After Effects. And those camera animations will be completely realistic. Sounds good, right? So let's get started. So currently, we are right now in After Effects and I have a footage, very basic, simple uh, camera animation here, like camera movement. You can see just a walking on my ground. So this is the basic footage. So what do you have to do? Just go to animation and then just track camera. So just select the track animation track camera. That's it. Whenever the track will complete, I'll get back to you. So tracking is done. You can see all the tracker points are here. So first of all, just select and grab right click set to ground plane and origin. This is the basic simple step because we are telling after effects that this area is my ground like will be my ground. Okay. After that, you can take solid here. So this will become your uh, reference controller inside of Unreal Engine. Okay, the next step is all about we can't export this camera directly to the Unreal Engine. We need to take a support from Cinema 4D. So first of all, you need to save this file. So just save it. And now after that, we need to go to File, Export and then Maxon Cinema 4D Exporter. You will see this pop up here. Press OK. Browser will open. Tutorial. Then press OK. So that's it for After Effects. Let's jump into Cinema 4D. So currently we are using R25 version in Cinema 4D. So now go to file, open project and here you need to search your tutorial file which I have recently saved earlier. So this is the file when you play you can see the camera motion here. You can place any object here but leave it like that. You can rename it also like tutorial and it will easy to understand in Unreal Engine. And now we need to go to this file and save project for Cineware because otherwise we can't use this file inside of Unreal Engine. Now close Cinema 4D, let's jump into Unreal Engine 5. So here we go. We are right now in Unreal Engine 5 and this asset I downloaded from Epic Games Marketplace from here. You can search it like Stone Age and you can find it out. It's literally amazing. This is the file you can uh, purchase it. It's completely free, 100% free. Okay, so this is like the basic our scene here. So first of all, as you see, this is a large scale of scene, but the light is very low. So let's adjust the light first. So first of all, go to this light settings, directional light, select this and uh, go down. I'm just increasing the intensity slightly high a bit. Then select exponential height fog over there. You need to type a volumetric fog. Just select this. You can see this volumetric fog. You can increase this emission rate as well. Just a bit slightly. Okay. Then you can select the skylight and you can do whatever settings you want. But I am just making it just like this. Okay. Now let's try to import the camera. Okay. So before moving forward, go to edit. And here you can find out this plugins option because you need to enable a plugin. So just type data smith and you can find out this data smith cinema 4D importer. Check this on. You can find out a pop up will come up here. Restart your Unreal Engine. So just restart it and it will open. After that, go to here, this content here, and you can find out the data smith and file import. Just click, one browser will open. You need to select your same Cinema 4D file which you exported earlier. So this was my file, select, and you need to find out where you really want to save that uh, imported file. Just press OK. It will come up here. We need a geometry because we added a solid layer in After Effects. Then just press import. You need to take some bit of time based on your RAM. It will take some time. Now it's imported successfully. So now you can see this one came up here and you can find out this animation folder. Just double click. You can find out this. Now no need to create any level sequence like a camera, level sequence, animation, all. It's already pre-made. Just double click on this UE and it will open inside of this new level sequence format. Now, if you select this camera, you can automatically snap with this and you can see this uh, viewer also. Okay, so now just select this track solid. This is your like main position. Okay, so what you have to do, you just can go here, just press F and directly snap on that exact same space and this is your camera. See, you can find out this camera up here. Now go to perspectives, take it to the 3D camera tracker. Now what you have to do, you just need to select this tutorial folder and you can simply change your position with the help of this anchor point. What exactly it will do? It will change your complete setup. Okay. So I'm just going from perspective to like a normal view, like cinematic viewport. So now you can see it up here. Press F, it will directly snap up here. Okay. So now going perspective to back to the default viewport. Now you can see this is my main draft. The camera is here. So we need to align the camera to the ground. So now select this tutorial and just make it down. So I'm just making my camera 
to the ground area so just look down you can see the view from here as well okay because this is your finalized view so i'm just making it slightly a bit down okay now that's it now go to perspective go to 3d camera now you can see the camera is here if you want you can rotate the scene also with the help of this i'm just rotating a bit because i want the camera should be different angle slightly like this so i just successfully adjusted my camera with the help of rotation scale and all now whenever we play this just before that just go to perspective and go to cinematic viewport you can find out this and then just select your 3d camera let's here now no need this solid track here just disable this and now let's play it you can see some really cool handy motion cinematic camera animation you can change the settings also like film back i'm changing it to like digital film and let's change it to 12 mm so it will become some wider shots and all so i'm just changing the focus distance manually so here i just want to shift it a little bit focus in front like this okay so now let's play it and you can see wow the camera animations looks literally amazing so guys in this way you can create some really cool camera realistic hand motion shots inside of Unreal Engine with the help of Adobe After Effects. So go you outdoor, shoot anything, grab that camera animation motion and use it in your Unreal Engine scene. So guys that's it for today. Hopefully you really enjoyed this video. If yes then press thumbs up button, subscribe and make sure share this video as much as possible. My name is Rajat. I will see you in my next video very soon. Till then have fun, keep watching, keep rocking VFX World.